Welcome back everyone to Seb Tech Take Ages. Yes, we're back in the end again today because we didn't finish our finish last session's job. Now I'm trying very careful to not look at those Endermen. Um, I've managed to kill a lot of the Endermen, um, although there are very many, many more. Um, and so I managed to mill up a whole bunch of Ender Stone and actually managed to get one of these to work, I think, maybe. Cool, so here we are in one of the end islands. So hooray, hooray, we can actually get some chorus fruit. Um, so that sort of solves that problem quite quickly. And so we managed to get some of that black stone, which is something we actually need for making of things. We also need chorus fruit and wow, wow. That's, we're gonna be able to get a lot of chorus fruit quite quickly. Look at that. Look at that, so many chorus fruit. We probably should take those back and grow them, but I mean, there's so much of this stuff, I don't think we're gonna have to. Um, should we get, <laughs> wow, okay. There we go, and there we go. That's gonna be need needed for one of our ingot crafting recipes. Now, well, look, someone has been here. Someone, someone's, someone's been here, because this is a server, and this is where people live. Um, Let's try going another way. It would be nice to get an elytra or something. Um, we need, obviously we need elytra. We need, uh, what else do we need? We need not to stare at the endermen. I have plenty of ender eyes. If only they knew the horrors of what I've done to their people. We need shulk boxes and we need end rods. Um, those things are going to be hard to find. We actually need to find an end fortress. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go for a wander and see if we can, see if we can find some. All right, after lots and lots and lots of traveling, I'm trying not to look at the Endermen, they did kill me before, um, I found an a, a unsullied um, tower. Um, I did find a couple of other ones, but yeah, the, they had been looted. This one, however, this one is right for the grabbing, and oh, here we go. There's a friend. There's a friend. Um, so we gotta look, we gotta be really careful not to look at the... I'm being, I'm being, I'm being hovered up. <laughs> we could be very, very careful not to look at the Enderman while we assault the tower. But hey, look, I managed to get all the, um, all the actual things I've been looking for. So this is great. This is fantastic. I was a bit worried that, um, this was not going to happen. Okay, right. We're inside the tower. I don't know if we can go down. Yes, we can go down. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So we managed to pick up an unfamiliar item. Hooray. A shulker pearl, some chorus fruit. Oh, wait, we already had the chorus fruit. Um, where are those? Where are me end rods? End rods. That's what we need. End rod. Sounds like some kind of. Um, sounds like a kind of company that went bankrupt in the U.S. for massive fraud. End rod. There we go. Um, ho ho. Oh, okay. It's a it's a jumping thing. Now I don't know if I need purple blocks. Do I need purple blocks? I might actually end up looting a lot of the purple blocks. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I was gonna say, wow, I made it to the top without completely failing at that. But yeah, yeah, you know, it's possible to fail 100% um, of the time. Yeah, let's grab some, eat a potato, eat a potato. I think if I fall again, I'm gonna break my leg. It's amazing the height you can fall in Minecraft, you know? In real life, if I fell that far, I'd be I'd be dead. I mean, two stories, broken leg, three stories, dead. Ex exponential, exponential jumping curve. Ugh. Oh, this is tricky. This is tricky. Okay, cool. Let's go. Right. <sighs> okay. Oh, great. Another one. Oh, more jumping puzzles. Um... Uh, let's see. I don't bring any actual construction blocks with me, so there we go. Let's just make ourselves some construction blocks. Because this, this is being a pain. I can't be bothered. Um, <laughs> you watch. They, they, they put jumping puzzles in game. Oh, you really think I'm going to even bother with this? At least the Twilight Forest kind of know what, what they're doing. Um, let's see, 51 of those lovely, delicious... In stone blocks. Let's go. Mm. 
When life gives you lemons, use a giant pickaxe thing to make a door. Yep. Armchair 2020. There you go. Ah. Up we go. Is it just... Did we just see one shulker? Was that it? One... One shulker. I kind of get the feeling I'm going to get ambushed somewhere up here. Up we go. Oh. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, we managed to get two. Nope, don't look at him. Oh, there's another one. Has this been looted? Not sure. Just keep going. Keep going. Don't look at the little, little men. Look at the men. I'm using that in a non-gendered specific way. Um, gender, ender people. Ender people! Uh, nothing in that chest. Oh, it's been looted. Oh, dang. Oh, well, at least we managed to get one, one shulker out of that. Um, that might be all we need. Let's have a look. Fingers crossed. An ender alloy. We need to make this ender crafter. So, um, ender alloy, ender enhanced. Uh, arc furnace. Oh, that's, that's a bit of arc furnace. Oh, okay. And, uh, uh, what? Really? That seems like a whole heap of work. Um, I thought we could just pour this stuff in the ingot. Yeah, see? You just, just make it. Alright, I think we've, we've, have we met the requirements of the quest? Where's the quest? Locate the stronghold. End it in dimension. Fruit dragon, biotite, and use, yep. Um, end fruit. And to craft it. Locate purpur end rods, shulker shell to create advanced ender ally. Yeah, I, I think we've we, we kinda done that. I think we've hopefully we've got enough. Maybe we should head back now while we've still got oh that's such a long drop. Purpur blocks. So many purple blocks. Yeah, let's just <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna head back and um hopefully hopefully we can do some crafting. Hooray! Well we're back. We are back from the end. Um and uh, look at all this delicious loot that we've got. We probably should try and make a few of these um items in our quest chain. What have we got? In enhanced endo alloy. That should be easy enough. Endo alloy and advanced endo alloy. They all look fairly Complicated enhanced ender alloy. Let's let's have a look. Ender alloy. Okay, so there's three kinds. Um, as we saw before, we need to build an arc furnace. We need to build an arc furnace. We need to build an arc furnace. Um, shelka shell. Okay, so I don't know what this is then. Um, e for inventory. We got an unfamiliar item, but we didn't get a shelka shell, so I'm probably going to have to go back. We've got a shelka pearl. We didn't get a shelka shell? Shelka shell. Let's have a look. Shelka shell. Shelka shell. I definitely think they're probably loot, so I'm probably going to have to go back and get some more more items. So, But I mean, at the very least, we're going to have to build an arc furnace. Um, okay. <laughs> wasn't expecting to have to do that. My inventory, levels of inventory weren't expecting to have to do that. Um, where can we put all this stuff? Let's try and dump all this into here at least. Um, put all the ender gear into there. Uh, where, where are we going to build an arc furnace? Do we need to take out Grandpa Frank and put one in there? Hmm, maybe. I don't even know where my immersive engineering book is. Engineer's manual, there you go. Found it! Found it! Fresco! Points! I win! I win! Um, okay, arc furnace, arc furnace. That's an arch furnace. I want an arc furnace. Arch furnace is the next. Oh my gosh, this thing is gigantic. Um, that thing is huge. And it requires all sorts of blocks. Oh! Alright, okay. Um,. I'm going to get all that together, and then I'm going to come back and build it, because that's a lot of blocks, and we could easily use the rest of the session assembling all those blocks. I'd rather not. Let's get the arc finished done. Ooh, that's a big tower. We should try and loot that.
Okay, this should be the last of the steel that I need. So, pro tip, if uh, when making steel in CivTech, make a ridiculous amount. In fact, just never stop making steel. You need so much steel, it's unreal. That steel, we rhymed again. We did it again. Anyway, um, so I'm just about there. I'm just finishing up these heavy machinery blocks. And man, these things are resource hungry. So hungry. But anyway, here we go. Hopefully that's enough. Hopefully we've got all the bits that we actually need because, oh, oh so many things to make. Right, so those are all the components. Now, if I hold the book, uh, we need that, we need that. Let's grab that pickaxe because I'm no doubt I will put things in the wrong place. Cauldron, steel sheet meal, steel, why does it start filling from this end? Ah! Anyway, that one, blocks of steel, redstone engineering bricks, 14 engineering light blocks, and reinforced blast bricks, which were absolutely the pain to make. Blast bricks, because we had to make, I had to make more, um, end bricks, and if you remember how difficult they are, oh my gosh, that just took hours, it took like an hour to make 27 reinforced blast bricks, but hey, we got all the materials, um, I still, yeah, I don't think this really fits inside anywhere, um, we could kill grandpa, although I still would need to hook it up to power somehow, so I thought maybe we'll just, we'll just stick it outside for now, it's, um, it's too much hard work to really put anywhere, so I'm just gonna sort of lump it there there we go and let's uh we're gonna start putting these down so yep cauldron um that's yes that's where the cauldron goes um oh yeah that's right it highlights all the places where the components go so yeah it uses a ridiculous amount of steel so um just keep making steel never stop making steel if you've stopped making steel you um you shouldn't have, but yeah, so many blimmin' bricks. Oh, right, I'm gonna, let's get all this together and plonk it all together. Um, heavy machinery, man, they're expensive, those things. So expensive. Okay, just about done, except it looks like I've put the wrong block in here. Um, that one, cool, right, green, valid. I've accidentally knocked the power off there, so we should be able to connect that up. Um, where is my engineer hammer? There we go. We should just be able to hit that. Um, remember how difficult it is to get this thing just supposed to click it somewhere. Okay, where's the book? Where are we supposed to click it? It's different every time. Um, where, where does it say to hit it? Slag must be removed from the machine or it will cease functioning. No. Um, right clicking the panel bucket or vat wipe. No, oh. form the structure has been shown on the first page when clicking the cauldron with the engineering hammer. Why is it different every single time? There we go. It is now officially a thing. Hooray. There we go. Um, so we need to plug it into power and accidentally knock the power off. So that's going to be, uh, did I bring any power? No, I didn't bring any power components with me. Dang it. Arr! power components let's chuck all that back in there we're done with that accidentally knocked that off we're going to need more connectors more wires more things oh we're getting close we're getting close to having a piece of equipment uh working piece of equipment working what is that uh oh that's the power connector there i'm hoping i'm hoping that's the power connector um i accidentally knocked this off so this is going to be uh, Maybe we can connect that to there, and then I don't think I can connect through walls. Yes, I can. I can connect through walls. Okay. Right. Is that getting... That is not the power thing, is it? No. Is it? No, <laughs> that's not the power thing. Um, do I connect the power over here? Did I use the right, the right tool for the job? It says something about not getting enough power from somewhere. Oh... These things are sent to test us. Okay, right. Um, so if that's the power connector there, we should be able to run that to... Oh, let's just stick that on the wall there. Uh, welcome to modern electric 
a wiring 101 where you just stick it on the wall and if it works, it works. Okay, right. Um, is it getting power? Well, that's a cool looking interface. Let's see if we can power this thing. Uh, congratulations on your recent purchase of the Arc Furnace Reactor. Alpha assembly, energy input is through the three connectors supply at the back. Does it mean these? Is that what it means? Is it those? Three? Why is it three? That fills me with a terrible... What? Sense of... Of foreboding. Why is that red? Why did it disappear? Three connectors in the back. Oh gosh, okay. Eh? Huh? Oh no, that one didn't go red. <laughs> is that enough? Is that... Oh, it's getting power! Hooray! It's got power! Okay, um, so yeah, congratulations on the recently assembled purchase of our new arc reactor. I suppose all we need to do now is actually use the darn thing um, to make these ender ingots. Ender ingots. What are they called? Ender ingot? Ender, ender alloys? Oh, ender, ender alloys! Gosh, it's, it's, sorry, it's, for those of you who have not been here the whole time why I've been working on this, it's been lots and lots and lots and lots of manufacturing and my brain has gone to, how should we put it, mush. Okay, arc furnace. Um, what the heck? What? Okay, so it's giving us two blocks, so if we put some of those in, eight, there, Nope, that doesn't work. That works there though. And one of those there? Nope. There. Right. Distribute inputs. I uh, don't know what that is. Okay, right. That should be cooking. It's not. Hmm. Hello. Hello, computer. Turn on. I. Hmm. Uh, do we need a lever? It did say something about switch. It's got plenty of power. It's got a lot of power. I can't make a button. I don't know if that will work very well though. Let's let's stick a button on the front. Eh. Nah. <laughs> no. Uh, something's not working. Okay. End alloy. Arc furnace. One I. Uh. Hundred RF ticks per thing. We've got biotype. We've got ender pearl. This should be a go. This should this should literally work. Does it need a lever or uh, or maybe just a kick up the bum? I don't know. I, honestly, I have no idea. Um, oh, we've got a little bit of cobble there. Let's see. Why is it not working? It's got power. It's got ingredients. Brr, brr. On. Nope. Hello? Okay, let's read more of the manual. Three slots on the top are for graphite electrodes. Twelve slots on the left are for input slots for metals and ores. Each slot has a temperature bar next to it representing the progress of smelting. The four slots to the right are additives. Additives. What are additives for? There's... I don't see no bars. I don't see no bars on the left or the right showing the smelting progress. Um, example would be cool to smelt something, something, blah, blah, blah. Seven slots at the bottom and the output slots. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, computer. Um... Okay. So, according to internet, we need to make graphite electrodes. Um, oh, really? And graphite electrodes mean we need graphite dust, which comes from, what? Industrial squeezer? Coke dust? Put Coke dust in the industrial squeezer, which we have, fortunately. We don't have a crusher. Seriously, we have to make another machine. Another machine. I don't... 
I, I, I don't have the, the mental capacity to make another machine. We need to make some kind of crusher. Oh, oh. Um, okay. Well, I have thought about making a crusher for some time because I thought it would be useful. I had kind of put it off because it's another machine and it requires more blocks to make another machine. And I need to, uh, to, to, to make more things and blocks and stuff. Well guys, I was so disheartened at the end of that session that I actually forgot to record an outro. So, here's the outro now. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Um, we're going to pick it up in the next session. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.